friends. These past months have been very strange and strained. For seven, eight months now, we've not been coming into the shul because uppermost in our minds has been the concern for ensuring health and safety for every single member of our synagogue. And now we're approaching Rosh Hashanah, and of course, they're after Yom Kippur. I've already sent out a number of emails explaining how we'll be conducting the services, but I want to share just a thought with you, and I want you to see my face, because I want to underscore how important it is that we enter this upcoming season together again, to promote safety and well-being, high holiday services, and all other services and programming will remain online for the foreseeable future. About a thousand years ago, Jewish people innovated. They brought something brand new into their or our high holiday season. It's called slichot, or slichas, which is a way of saying, seeking and gaining forgivenesses. And for years, like many conservative synagogues around the world, we've had slichot or slichas. This coming week, we're doing something very different. We're having slichas or slichot online in Zoom. It'll be on Saturday the 12th at 7.30. And we're coming together with the conservative synagogue in Montgomery, the Reform Temple in Dothan, and also two guitarists from Auburn. And of course, we're thrilled that our own in-house guitarist, Yudha Silverwolf, will be joining. The goal of this new and innovative program is to bring people together in a different way, recognizing that we can't come together in the traditional manner. I hope that you schedule 45 minutes to an hour this coming Saturday evening from 7.30, 8.30, a brief Havdalah and a different and innovative kind of slichas to put you and your loved ones into a proper frame of mind for Rosh Hashanah. And of course, in terms of Rosh Hashanah, we will be having services, and you have the calendar before you, both in the emails and on the synagogue website, www.ahavaschesedsynagogue.org. A reminder that this coming Rosh Hashanah will see an abbreviated service. The first day is Shabbos. The second day is Rosh Hashanah. And taking into account our needs, because it will be online, we will have an abbreviated service, and we will incorporate the chauffeur and also Tashlich. And I'm very thankful to Mr. Ben Meisler who's going to be joining us for a second day of Rosh Hashanah because blowing chauffeur is a highlight. It's a highlight for Ben to bring that voice out to all of us, and it's a highlight for us to place our prayers and our hearts upon the blasts his Tekiya, Shivarim, Trua, and Tekiya Gadola, of course. And thereafter, we will be providing our Yom Kippur service. An introduction to Yom Kippur is visiting at the Shul Cemetery known as Kever Avot, or Kever Avos, and that will be on Sunday the 27th from 12.30 to 1.30. And again, we are ensuring safety, and if people choose to visit the cemetery, visit their loved ones, which is very traditional this season of the year, please do so on your own. But as an official shul gathering, it will take place on Zoom, and those details will be forthcoming in upcoming emails. So on Sunday the 27th from 12.30, 1.30, I'll be at the cemetery, and I'll be live streaming a Zoom service and also an opportunity for you to see the graves of your loved ones. I'll be walking around with my laptop. Kol Nidre, of course, will be on Sunday, September 27th, and a slightly abbreviated service, but we will have Kol Nidre. For Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, our cantor of previous years, Dr. Howard Hurwitz, will be joining with us, and we've already been working all the details out, and David Smith has been helping arrange 
the necessary elements to connect Dr. Howard Hurwitz, who will be broadcasting from the DC area to our community here in Mobile. On Yom Kippur daytime, we will have a slightly abbreviated service in the morning, and in the afternoon, something brand new, we are joining with the conservative synagogue in Montgomery. Rabbi Scott Kramer and I have developed a healing service and Torah study, which will be on Yom Kippur afternoon from 4.30 to 5.30. And in light of these very uncertain times, healing can take on a number of different meanings and layers. So please plan to join us for that Yom Kippur healing service the afternoon of Yom Kippur. And now I'm thinking about sukkahs. And for years, you know that we have built a sukkah and we've celebrated with meals and one year we had a petting zoo. It's very special. But for now, we have to pause our sukkah gatherings. And although it's outside, we don't want to take the risk. And so we won't be having any traditional or typical sukkahs gatherings, but I have a request. I have a favor to ask of you. I'm asking you this year to purchase a lulav and etrog. This is from last year. You know, a lulav is three trees from Israel, and the etrog, of course, represents the fourth tree. And all four trees are symbols of hope. Israeli trees of hope coming to Mobile, Alabama in these very strange days. I ask you to put in an order. It's Friday the 11th, that's the deadline. It's $40 for a set, the Lulav and the Etrog. And I want as many Shul members to have a Lulav this year because you will be bringing hope into your home and the knowledge that you and you and you, all of you will be having these four trees of Israeli hope in Mobile lifts me up and binds us all together. And if somebody can't afford $40, contact me privately and we'll make arrangements. But this year, because we can't come to Shul together for Sukkot, we need to be together in some way in your own homes, your own kitchens, your own backyards. So contact me, you all know how to get a hold of me, email, text, sell, the shul office, and please put in your order for sukkahs, that we all have a season of hope after the holiday of Yom Kippur. And finally, I'm thinking about Simchas Torah, which is going to be, again, very different this year. We're deprived of the opportunity to gather in our holy, beloved sanctuary in person, holding Torah scrolls, dancing with Torah scrolls, and so on. And I'm working on another activity, another program, and when I have all those details put together, I'll be informing you of a way for all of us to be joined in, again virtually, for Simchas Torah. We Jews need to celebrate, to support, to hold on to each other in these occasions when we are being pulled apart from one another. As a reminder, if you have not yet picked up a moxer from the office, please do so, so that you can participate in our Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur services. And very importantly, please send me a photograph a snapshot, not a digital snapshot, but a photograph that I can put on our seats, and that way I'll feel your presence as I'm conducting the service. And as you come by to pick up a high holiday moxer or two for your family and to drop off the photograph that we can put in the sanctuary seats, please remember to bring your non-perishable food items for the Mobile Bay Area Food Bank. In these days, there are many people who are suffering, and one of the aspects that brings meaning to our High Holy Day season is the knowledge that we can make a difference in the lives of others. From the depths of my heart, I call out to God to watch over 
to protect you. I thank you for your trust. I thank you for your support. And I know that each and every one of you is offering support and kindness to your fellow members of Ahabas Chesed and also of Mobile. That's why we have this shoal, Ahabas Chesed. The initials of Ahabas Chesed spell out Ach, which means brother. We are to be a brother, a sister to each and every one of us within the shoal, beyond the shoal, and outward in the world. And by your participation in our sacred mission of bringing Yiddishkeit, of kindness, and of belief in God into our world, we do transform the world. I thank you for your support. And we close with just a bit of a song from Craig Taubman, Lador Vador, which means every generation will continue on. That is our blessing that every generation, beginning with this generation, will continue on to enhance and to build our world and our lives and our sense of holiness. May God bless you all. Leolam Vaer 